graphing cosine is just like graphing sine and all the same rules and principles are, are really the same. Um, the only very difference is your guide numbers are different. Um, but uh, let's start off by just talking about our, our very basic y equals cosine x graph uh, from 0 to 2 pi. We see the, the a is 1, the b is 1, the period is 2 pi over 1, which is 2 pi. Your interval is period divided by 4, so that's going to be 2 pi over 4, which is really pi over 2. So you're going to have intervals. Um, we always start at 0, but your intervals are going to be 0. Then, well, you know, I don't want to write that there. Um, but they're going to be 0, pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 4 pi over 2, and so on. It's going to move. Um, each of our guide numbers are going to be pi over 2 away from each other. The difference between sine and cosine is your guide numbers for sine were 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, because it started at 0 and then went to 1 and so on. Cosine doesn't start at 0. Cosine starts at the amplitude. So the guide for cosine is 1, 0, negative 1, 0, and 1. And if you're not sure about this, just take a look at the you know, cosine graph, which we're going to draw in a moment. But you see that the, the key guide numbers here, the five, you know, if you split it up into five, you know, uh, or four intervals, but we got one, then zero, then negative one, then zero, then one. And so that's why, uh, that's where the guide numbers for cosine come from. It's basically sine shifted over 90 degrees. You know, that's also why they're co-functions of each other. Um, so we uh, use these, we start at zero. And, you know, uh, we start on the axis, on the y-axis, at 1. And so that'll be here. And then the interval pi over 2 is for 0. Pi over 2 is 0. And then we have 2 pi over 2 goes for negative 1. Or 2 pi over 2, it reduces to pi. And 3 pi over 2 is to 0. 3 pi over 2 is 0. Sorry for the mislabel there. And 4 pi over 2 is the 1. Now, you have to be careful here drawing this. A lot of students mess up the drawing here. They kind of just draw a V. That's not what it is. And if you look at the calculator, that's not what it is. You remember, it's, it's a wave. And so you have to draw the curve like that. And comparing the picture on my calculator, you can really see that. The second example I have here for us are A is negative 3. Now remember, that's A is it kind of stands for amplitude. Our amplitude would be positive 3, but A itself is negative 3. Um, and B, coefficient of x, x over 2 is really a coefficient of 1 half. Your period, 2 pi over 1 half equals 4 pi, and your interval... 4 pi over 4 is just simply pi, and our guide w uh, starts off as 0, I'm sorry, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, and 1, but then remember we have to multiply these by your a, so that's going to be negative 3, 0, positive 3, 0, negative 3. Remember, multiplying by negative changes the sign. When you multiply it by 0, it just stays 0. So we start at the axis on the y-axis with our first guide number, negative 3. And then we go to our interval pi of 0, pi here, 0. And then your next interval is going to be 2 pi, and that'll be 3. And then what you notice here is I'm already out of space. And that's because my period is 4 pi. So my first cycle is going to end at 4 pi, but I'm only graphing from 0 to 2 pi. So I'm going to have a frequency of just 1 half from 0 to 2 pi. So I'm not going to have a full cycle here. And so this is really all it is. I see I have a frequency of a half. My period would end at 4 pi if I were to keep going. And again, let me take a look at this on my calculator. It is negative 3 cosine 1 half x, or x divided by 2. Uh, is, is the same thing, and I'll, I should get a, a matching picture here. And so the calculator is a, a nice way to check your work.